Sunday Laundry Room. If you ever get to a point where you just want to throw everything away and just start over from scratch, that's where I'm at. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly Louise. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm starting out this day in the life upstairs because I wanted to show you guys my answer prayer tree. If you have not checked out my DIY war room that I posted back in January, please go check that out. Um, I'm gonna be giving you updates like throughout the year on how God is just showing up and how I'm making sure that I document this stuff because God answers prayers all the time. So I have been making it my mission to write them down. So I'm gonna show y'all my answered prayer tree. Look at it. There are eight answered prayers on here just since January. It Today is March the 24th. So I just wanted to show you guys like God is still working. God is still answering prayers. Seek the face of God. It's worth it y'all. Walking by faith is worth it. Living for God is worth it. It's worth it, y'all. But let's go downstairs so I can show y'all what we're about to get into today. Let's go. Ignore my pimple patch, but y'all might not have seen it. But they say it's invisible, but child, you can see it. Because who knows what's going on with my skin? But let's make our green juice. Let me show y'all what I bought. Y'all know before I was using the um, the little packets, but because I didn't really like the berry in there, I decided to just buy like this one of like the strawberry kiwi. Plus you get seven more servings in here for the same price. So we're gonna do this today. How are y'all doing today? Today is Sunday when y'all are watching this. Um, today is a day when my husband has to serve all day at church. Um, if you're new here, we go to church on Saturdays. No, we are not seven day. Is it seven day Adventist? We're not, we just, they just have services on Saturday. Um, and so we went to church last night and he serves all day today. So I use this time to get stuff done around the house to kind of get caught up, cook a meal, something like that. Get the house together, clean up something. Um, I know a lot of you guys are new here. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. Also, um, few things I love Jesus that's number one <laughs> okay just in case you didn't know I love him um, number two I am the wife to the most amazing man I've ever met we shared our love story which is where most of you came from so welcome also um, I, we don't have kids and I'm a homemaker I don't work outside of the home and I love it it's it's my calling I can't even <laughs> deny it it wasn't always that way but if you wanted to know that whole story I also did a video on that as well but yeah, welcome to the family. Welcome to my house, okay? We're always doing something random over here. I always feel like they never fill stuff up all the way. <laughs> One scoop. And lots of green powder <laughs> on my hands. Oh, maybe that's why they put it in there like that. Why would y'all put such a long thing in there? Like, come on, Bloom. Come on, Bloom. Yeah, strawberry kiwi is good. to do list today I need to I already started laundry Can see me? Okay. I already started laundry and I need to I'm gonna go through my clothes in the closet we're gonna see how far we get but you guys know I started with like organizing my shoes the next step was to go through my clothes and see what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of because a lot of the clothes I just I don't even wear them and I want to go and buy some newer, nicer things, like 
more quality pieces going forward so i need to go through all of this stuff this stuff and figure out what we're gonna do so child i'm gonna just be honest with you i've been putting this off but also my back has been in pain for a few weeks so i haven't been wanting to do much i've just been doing like the bare minimum just making sure the house is clean <laughs> so i do want to get get that done and then i'm gonna probably make dinner with you guys oh also hold for one second my hands are ashy let me go get some lotion and then we'll be right back that's better uh, we have a birthday party well birthday dinner to go to tonight it was supposed to be surprised but she found out so <laughs> that's always fun but i got her a gift card she loves target so i got her a target gift card everybody loves well i don't know if everybody loves target but i know i do because yeah and i always keep cards on hand because we're always going it's always somebody's birthday something happened it's just easier to keep a box of cards we got these from costco probably two years ago at this point and they have come in handy so we're gonna look in here and see what we can find let's look so um, I think birthdays are over here. This is like donuts. <laughs> uh, I feel like these are more like kiddish, but they're so cute. Like it got little unicorns on it. Um, I might save this for my niece. Um, have a sweet day. That's kind of cute. And of course just a happy birthday but i feel like i could save that for a guy we have a guy's birthday and that's for a guy oh this one's cute i could probably do this one happy birthday to you maybe this one just a regular happy birthday let's celebrate oh that that actually will match that'll match the gift card because the gift card says let's celebrate let's do that all right, so got that ready. And I'll put that to the side, I'll sign it later. I am about to make a protein shake because you guys know I'm trying to eat super healthy before our trip. Not just before our trip, but in general in life, I'm trying to change my habits because I have a tendency to not, we don't eat bad, but just getting more nutrient dense foods in our diet. So I am going to make a protein shake. I've been making me and my husband these, but since he's not home, I'll just make me one. I'm using this protein powder. It's strawberries and cream. Just some berries from Trader Joe's, my Greek yogurt, and some almond milk. So this is basically my um, yogurt bowl in a cup. <laughs> so I've been enjoying it. And this is a, a Nutribullet blender. Y'all can see. We got this, we've had this for years actually. It works really good. We want a Vitamix, but child, $500 for a blender, come on now. <laughs> but if Vitamix wanna um, send me one, I'm your girl. <laughs> These bananas are kind of raw, not as ripe as I would prefer them to be, but it's gonna be good nonetheless. Uh, I'll put some berries. And two scoops of this is 21 grams of plant protein. So I'm gonna do two scoops. Sometimes when I make me and my husband one, I just do four. Depending on if we're eating a meal with it or not. And then just unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Let me show y'all all the options on the blender. We have extract, low, medium, high, and pulse. 
I always do extract when I'm making a smoothie just to make sure all the nutrients are coming out. So let's go ahead. Okay, so you see this didn't really blend because it's stuck to the side. I have to just get a spoon, so hold on. It normally doesn't do that, but <laughs> of course, since I'm on the camera, it got to show out for y'all. It's so pretty. <laughs> Just to make sure it blends in really good. Back on there, and I'm gonna just do high. All right, let's get a straw. I use glass straws. Um, we've had, gosh, we've had these forever. All right, let's try it. I hope it's not bad, because technically the bananas aren't as ripe as I would like. I literally just bought them, but. Hmm. I wish it was colder, but I guess that's why people use frozen bananas. Hmm. It's good, I just think it needs to be cold. Okay, so we're gonna drink this and then maybe we'll be starting. Oh, I need to make my bed too, because I just washed my sheets. So I'll make my bed and then get started on taking all the stuff out of the closet. <sighs> yep, I'll see y'all then. Washing on Sunday, and somehow on Sunday, I still have clothes. We both, my husband and I, both work out. It doesn't matter what I do, it's gonna be clothes. So it just is what it is. <laughs> oh, I'm just used to it now. But I don't know, I feel like today is just a lot of clothes. But I guess it might be because I'm trying to um, go through my closet and I don't really want to. But I need to, I feel like I feel so much better if I just go ahead and get it done. So I told myself I need to get all the laundry washed so that I can see what I have. Cause y'all know we be buying stuff and we don't even know what we got. So I told myself, you need to go through all your stuff, look through it, figure it out <laughs> and get rid of some stuff. Like basically the stuff in this laundry pile, I know I like cause I've worn them. It's the stuff that's sitting in that closet that I'm like, oh, yeah, I ain't touching this stuff like that. So, that is that. You know, I thank the Lord for so many things, but this was something I prayed for when I was believing God for a husband. So, here's a, here's a, I guess, a little story time. So, 
I always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, but I never thought I would be a stay-at-home wife. And I know that might seem crazy, right? Like I never thought that that was, that was in the cards for me. But I've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I've always wanted to homeschool my kids whenever they, whenever I had kids. Like that was just something that's always been on my heart for, for years and years and years. And so God is so strategic in how he does stuff. So <laughs> fun fact, when me and my husband were dating, one of the things he said to me was, and I shared this in my, you're a homemaker without kids, why? He said, I don't want my wife to work at something she hates or if she don't have to work like I just really he didn't want his wife to work that was just something he just he's never <laughs> really wanted unless there was something that I just loved to that his wife just loved to do he wasn't really like super like concerned about whether I worked or not now granted you guys know I've had job on job on job on job I've had so many jobs to the point where sometimes I'm like what was I even doing in them jobs but God uses everything, so. Um, but yeah, I'm just so thankful for my husband because I fold his laundry any day, okay? <laughs> if you know, you know, okay? When you got you a good man, a man of God who loves God, so he know how to love you, fold that man laundry, bro. <laughs> fold his laundry, okay? So yeah. I know there's like a lot of I feel like there's it's I feel like it's new age where it's like I'm not about to be doing all that housewife stuff and it's like girl why <laughs> I would do this any day to go to somebody's job I'm just be honest with y'all <laughs> let's get this done child. I told y'all 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 keep me oh excuse me y'all keep me motivated as well because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie and say this I'm always excited to do this, but it does, when I think about the prayer that I prayed and how God has answered, I gotta take everything that comes with that answer and this is even a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Like I prayed for this man, I prayed for this marriage and this life that we have and I'm living in an answered prayer. So I will fold this man's laundry all day. Like, do I always feel like it? No girl, mm -mm. <laughs> No, and sometimes my husband does actually help me with a lot of this stuff um, you guys know I have back issues so sometimes he got to do it all <laughs> and so um, I just I'm just thankful that I'm able-bodied right now to get up and get this done because oh there have been days y'all there have been days but yes let me hurry up so we can get in this closet and at least start I don't know if I'm gonna finish in this in today's video because it might be too long but we gonna see we're gonna see, we're gonna do our very, very best. Shatter my excuses Lord, I wanna do 
okay so y'all what I'm doing right now as you can see I'm just taking everything out of the closet and I'm using this garment rack to decide what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of so there's a lot of stuff that I've worn in the past but I feel like as I grow and mature um, in my age and in Christ there are just certain things that I don't feel comfortable wearing anymore and I think we all come to that point where we're like I need to do better in how I dress like I want to dress more more modest but not like frumpy but not it's a hard balance because I promise you guys when I'm trying to find clothes everything has a split all the way up here it's crop top it's cleavage it's just it's hard to find clothes these days I'm honestly it maybe down the line I'm gonna get me a um, sewing machine and start making my own clothes because I can't find I can't find the things that I want unless I'm spending a whole bunch of money so I'm also gonna start thrifting too to see what I can find as well cuz it's hard out here but yes that's what I'm doing now going through stuff trying to figure out what I want to keep like I used to wear crop tops like all the time and I wouldn't really have my stomach out like I would just wear like super high-waisted jeans and just put this put these on but I honestly I don't even have to do that y'all that was just I think that was a phase so yeah we're gonna get rid of that um I have had this dress forever uh, I still like it so I'm gonna keep it all right let me put my jams back on okay shower dress if I can find a picture I'll insert it so y'all can see I can't uh, I can't get rid of stuff like this it's just so special I get emotional thinking about it it was so beautiful I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it because I can't <laughs> I can't okay let's keep going because my husband will be home and like uh, let's see. He'll be home in like two hours. It's 12.32 now. My goal is to at least get all the clothes that I'm not going to keep and get rid of those and then put these back in the closet. I may or may not have time to organize them. I've been trying to do it on my little rack, sort of. So we're, we're going to see. We're praying we can get this done so that when he gets home, by the time he gets home, I'll have something for us cooked to eat so let's keep going redemption renew my heart with the resurrection god i need you god i need you now you're pouring
start putting some of this stuff back in the closet I'm just gonna roll this in there to make it easier yeah let's do that if I can pull it <sighs> y'all let me show y'all what just happened cuz nothing ain't gonna be easy I'm gonna tell you, look, my whole garment rack just fell apart. <laughs> I was like, oh, it'll make it easier for me to just roll this back in here. I guess I put too much stuff on it. Uh, I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but it is what it is. I still have to go through all of these clothes and y'all, you ever get to a point where you just wanna throw everything away and just start over from scratch? That's where I'm at. Don't even get me started on this bathroom, but that's where I'm at. I just, I kind of want to just buy all new clothes with what money. I don't know, but um, clothing companies, if you guys want to send me some stuff, I would be more than happy to try it out for you. Because, Uh, and it's all like if they were still kind of stuck to the um, bar I could just kind of try to pick it up but I'm gonna have to sit here and go through all these clothes that I just sat here organizing so that's gonna be a load of fun we're still thankful you know we're still we're still thankful we're just a wee bit frustrated let me take a picture of this and send it to my husband because he's gonna be like Tim what are you doing I'm almost ready to lay down. Because. Okay. Staring at it ain't going to do nothing. So. Let me hop over this. Hopefully I won't fall. Yeah, it's just literally. It, it fell apart. Don't buy cheap garment rats, people. Don't buy cheap stuff. Okay, that's my husband's side. Y'all don't need to see that because that's a mess too. All right, let's just try to... There's still like a few more things of mine like over here. But up top, my stuff is... My stuff is organized. I just... I know I had to go through these clothes. <sighs> my back is starting to hurt. Okay. If I'm honest, I'm gonna have to have my husband help me because I'm not gonna be able to pick all this stuff up. And he'll be mad at me if I'm in here doing stuff and I hurt my back for real, for real. I ain't want him to have to do no work. Y'all really, for real, be spending days with me. Because this, this is real life with Kimberly Louise, y'all. Like, there are days like this where it's like maybe it's not clothes that just or a garment rat that falls apart in your life but it's other stuff you know what i'm saying and we just gotta pick it up pick ourselves up and keep going and the only thing i want to do is lay down that's it also this pimple patch do y'all see what <laughs> oh i'm a mess i'm a mess i don't know how i'm gonna pull it together for this birthday dinner <sighs> okay Okay, Kim, you're gonna do as much as you can. And then, can't do no more, go take, a, I think I'm gonna take a break actually right now. Let me show y'all what I do when my back starts to hurt and I'm doing something like this. It's a real, it's really simple. So, I have sciatica, let me hop back out. Oh, Stepping all on my clothes, all on. Yeah, the garment rack is in pieces, okay? Anyway, let me show y'all what I do. All right, y'all, so I came to the couch. My camera turned off, but. So I lay down flat on my back. I don't do it, sometimes I do it on the floor, but lately the couch is easier to get to. <sighs> Just take a breather. Take a breather, 
and then I just take one leg and put it over the top like this. I hope y'all can hear me. And then I pull up this leg and I just kind of like slowly lower it down. And then I switch. Then I just kind of Yeah, but the reason I do the couch because sometimes the floor is not my friend. So But now I'm just going to put my feet up on my wedge here and just sit for a second. And then I can get back to it because right now it ain't working. So I'll pick y'all back up after I'm done resting. All right, y'all. Lay down for like a good <laughs> 10 minutes. But I, while I was laying down, I decided what I was going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to go through the rest of the clothes on my bed and kind of separate them out, get rid of stuff. And then I'm going to wait until my husband gets home to help me pick this thing up. <laughs> because y'all... It's actually heavy because the clothes kind of was leaning on it and there's no way for me to get it without having to lift it. And if y'all have, if any of you have a herniated disc, then you know any kind of lifting wrong or any anything can cause it to flare up and spaz out and we ain't got time. So I'm going to take it easy here and go through the rest of this stuff so that hopefully I can at least have my trash bags ready to go. And it'll just be a little bit of things to put back in there. So let's do it. Also, we have to wear all black to this birthday dinner tonight. So I think I'm going to wear this. It's a long, long dress. It's very cute. So I'll take this out and set it aside. I need a revival. Something more than this shall survive. This is the book I'm listening to. Alright, so I have gotten done with as much as I'm going to be able to do without my husband at home to help me. But I'm keeping all the stuff that's on the bed. Some stuff has to go upstairs. Those are all hangers. And... When he gets here, I will will finish the rest. So I'll see y'all then. So what exactly were you trying to do? I was, my idea was to put all the stuff on a garment rack and then move it. Into this little space. I was going to slide it in and then just take the stuff off um. to make it easier on myself. Mm -hmm. And then the garment rack fell into pieces. Versus taking them Taking them one by one because I had already done that when I took them out of the closet. So I thought to myself, save yourself some trips. Save myself some trips. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. That'll work, baby. He so. came to the rescue, guys. Look. We're gonna get it done, baby. I'm trying to see. Just forgiveness. For his children, no conditions. All right, so thank God for hubby. He came in and helped get my life together for me. So he already put the stuff that was on the floor back in here. I don't have time now to organize it like I want to. So that's going to be in another video because I still need to get some baskets and stuff for the jeans and stuff up there. And then maybe when I come, when I do another video, 
I'll do his stuff over here. But he put not all of the stuff back. I still got more stuff to put in, but the stuff that was actually on the garment rack, he put back in here. So now I'm about to bring the rest of this stuff in here because we have a birthday dinner to go to. And what time is it? <laughs> Cause y'all know we be running behind, which is 4.41. I think it's supposed to be at 6.30, but she's supposed to be there at 7 or something, so I don't know. Um, let's just get what we can get done, child. <sighs> um, I was going to make dinner on camera, but child, we don't have time. So, I'm not going to organize, but y'all are going to be able to see how much I, I thinned out. struggling through this video with me I really appreciate you if you enjoyed this video please consider liking it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already remember that God is God and we are not so we trust him and we let him do his thing see you guys next time bye